Hello friends, Doug Fink. Back again with some more AI stuff. Um, I came across Merrill Fernando. He built a MCP agent and so it can hook into Microsoft 365. And I'm gonna show you how I took his work and I connected into Visual Studio GitHub Copilot, Agent Edition. You're gonna to wanna to stay to the end, see a bunch of links for some other things. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, uh, click on the notification when I put out more videos like this, and you can check out my YouTube channel and see what else I have. Okay, let's make it happen. Here we have Loca, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, and this is uh, Merrill Fernando's code. Up top, you can see that's the GitHub repo. I pulled that down, you can pull it down as well. Uh, you can check out his instructions. You'll need things like um, TypeScript and Node installed to make it work. And when you see what I'm gonna do inside of Visual Studio Code, you need Visual Studio Code insiders, and you need all the GitHub Copilot chats and whatnot um, installed and set up. I'll leave that to you to figure out how to do, it's not hard. Uh, and all that stuff and all this stuff is free. And we're gonna create an Anthropic MCP server or uh, Merrill did that. And I'm gonna show you how to hook it up inside of Visual Studio Code. Here's my Visual Studio Code. This is Visual Studio Code Insiders Edition. And I took Merrill's code as is, compiled it through TypeScript, created the JavaScript files, and then I added an mcp.json in my .vs code folder where the project was. And this is how you set it up so it can work with Visual Studio Code. Uh, I even used the thing like dollar curly braces workspace folder to point to where the main JS is. Um, and then I provided my tenant ID, client ID, and client secret. So let's exit out of that. Come on over here. This is uh, GitHub Copilot. You can get to that by clicking on the toggle chat up here on the top, you, you get this piece. Um, a few important pieces to note. Down here on the bottom, you have to set this to agent, and your models that you can set it to are Claude or GPT-40, more are coming. So I chose uh, to work with the Claude 3.7, the latest one from Anthropic. And then here comes the fun part. This little piece here is how you select tools. I'll click on that. And there's a bunch of tools out of the box that come with uh, GitHub Copilot on the insiders that uh, these are written by Microsoft and maintained by Microsoft and others. And I, through that MCP JSON you just saw, by doing that, I've enabled the Loca server and a tool to call Microsoft Graft, um, so on and so forth. So now that, server is part of the github um the edit with github copilot so now i can come down here and say we're going to do show me all the users in my tenant now i didn't set up my azure back end to work with all the permissions so this is going to fail and i want to show you why that's interesting so this is not the happy path like this is going to succeed Head over to Merrill's uh, repo and you can see his videos and he shows you what happens when it all works. And the difference is he hooks his up to Claude Desktop, which is great, uh, and I'm hooking mine into Visual Studio Code. So, or his his server into my Visual Studio Code. So show me all the users in my, ter in my tenant. Let's run that. It goes off and works. And it comes back and it gives me a confirmation box. I'll help you retrieve the users uh, using the Microsoft Graph API, uh, let me do that for you. So it gives me an opportunity to say yes, no. Um, I can do allow in the session, always allow, or I can just cancel out of this if I don't know. Like I might have, like I have 11 tools. I don't know which one it may pick. It may pick the wrong one, or it may pick one that I'm not sure about. It may do something uh, I don't like, and I can choose to cancel. So I'm going to say continue. Mine's going to fail with getting the tenants. So let's see what happens. So after doing some thinking, it actually tried to go out to uh, my Azure tenant. Um, so all the pieces did work, and in, but the authorization failed, and the 
the message is insufficient privileges. Let me make that a little bigger. So it's insufficient, insufficient privileges on the Azure side, which indicates that the current authentication context does not have necessary permissions. Um, very cool. So now it is to tell me that a good, nice, workable error. This was not built into Merrill's uh, MCP server. This was based on the message that came back from Azure after it was after the MCP server tried to do some activities. And it goes on and tells me a bunch of things. Make sure I'm logged in, check the app, uh, use the connect to Microsoft Graft, um, so on and so forth. And would you like me to try retrieving just the user information instead? Uh, instead of going further of what that is, I'm gonna try and, since I'm inside of Visual Studio Code, uh, I'm gonna say, save this to a file. Let's see what it does. So now because I'm inside Visual Studio Code and I'm working with the agent technology, could you please, he wants me to specify um, the error message. Let's see if I can save the error message. So because I'm in, inside a studio, I'm using the agent component. Um, I can do all kinds of different things. I can ask it questions that I would never even think of asking before. And here it shows um, what happened, why it was denied, insufficient privileges, even does the request ID and the client ID. Uh, and now I can take this and either send it to somebody or I can take this and then maybe look up uh, for more information uh, as to what the issue is and how to, how to resolve it. Cool, so I just wanted to show you that. And I have one last piece to show you. So if you liked what you saw with the MCP server and how to hook it up, I have a video uh, up on my YouTube channel. And I'll drop that in the description where you can copy it from here if you want. It's a tough one to copy. And uh, it's about Agentic PowerShell server I wrote. And I step you through in the YouTube description, I give a link to my repo, how to set it up, how to make it work. And then you can do exactly what I did with uh, with Merrill's MCP server, except that it interacts directly with PowerShell. Um, and it gets really interesting. So I hope you liked what, what you saw. If you did, hit the thumbs up and stay curious.